welcome to Homestead Corner. Today we have got some scratchy throats started. So I am gonna whip up a super quick pine needle cough syrup. It is really easy to make and it works wonderfully to help soothe your throat and stop those coughs. It's Jenny from Homestead Corner. Today we're going to whip up some super easy pine needle cough syrup. It is, we're starting to have some scratchy throats here, you know, in the warm inside and cold outside and it is definitely cold season going around and stuff. So I like to whip this up as soon as we get the first sign of a scratchy throat. This is great, fresh, it does not have to sit for a long time. So you can whip it up when you need it, which is really nice. And we are just gonna use simple ingredients that you probably have in your home and maybe right outside your house. Um, we're gonna use white pine. I've just rinsed this off a little bit, but this is the Eastern white pine. We have tons of these around the yard. They are super high in vitamin C, which is wonderful for you. So, and it really helps um, when you get that scratchy throat and this is wonderful. It helps soothe coughs and things like that. We really like to use it and what a money saver. We're not buying all that junk at the store and it's natural and it's good for us. And back in the day, people cooked with pine and other conifers to help increase the nutrients in their food and stuff. And they use this as medicine. And you can use other conifers as well. Um, uh, this is a hemlock. You can use hemlock. And you can see right here, right on the stem, these little greenery pieces they're like upside down right on the base of the stem you can tell that's hemlock uh, spruce looks similar you can also use spruce you can use fir um, you just want to be careful with ponderosa pine if you're pregnant i wouldn't use it talk to your doctor about it ponderosa pine um, they say don't use it if you're pregnant so but you can use pretty much any other conifer and it kind of these conifers pine tree, spruce, all of these, they kind of taste like rosemary. So if you like rosemary, this is delicious. <laughs> all right, so we're just gonna use some raw honey with this. If you can get local raw honey, that is gonna be your best because it's got all those enzymes in it. You really don't want something pasteurized. It's not gonna work as good. It will still coat your throat, but it doesn't have all that goodness in it that raw honey has. And we're gonna use a lemon and some water. So I have just rinsed these off to get any debris out or anything like that. And I am going to throw on some hot water in the teapot. I'm gonna need a cup and a half of hot water. And remember, you can use hemlock the conifer, but not hemlock the herb, that is poisonous. <laughs> A lot of people think that all hemlock is poisonous, but the conifer is not. Um, it looks like a Christmas tree. And uh, I just like to pat a little bit of this excess water off. You don't have to do this, I don't think. I've just always done it that way. And I'm going to start removing my needles. And I'm going to make, I'm going to pack a cup of needles in here. So we're just going to pull, the, uh, pull them up and they just peel right off. You've got all those needles. And that, this is really simple and easy to do. I don't use the branchy parts, but I do use all these needles. And you can do the same with any ones that you use. These are so high in vitamin C. Back in the day, they used this, um, if they were, weren't getting enough fresh fruits and vitamin C. This is super high in vitamin C and would help prevent scurvy. So, you know, you don't want to get that. But this is great. Even just as a tea, it's actually quite nice for a nice relaxing tea. I like it once in a while. Instead of chamomile, just for a little something different, you can whip up some pine needle tea. 
and it's super good for you. You don't need a whole lot of these. We're going to use these for other projects as well, so I got more than I needed for this. But we're just going to pack these right in until I have a whole cup. Okay, so once you have got your boiling water, you know, I like to make sure I have a cup of needles packed in there the best I can. And then I'm going to use about a cup and a quarter of hot boiling water. And we're just going to fill this bad boy right up. And we're going to pour this right over the needles. And we're going to let this steep like a tea, like, just like you would tea except we're going to let it go until it is completely back down to room temperature. And I'm just going to put a cover on this, make sure nothing gets in there, just a little plate. And we're going to let this sit for, oh, probably an hour, 45 minutes or an hour. It should be down to room temperature. It's a little cool in here today, so it won't be too long. But just until this water is all room temperature, and then we will come back to it. So this is down to room temperature. It has been a while and I have a clean sterilized jar. You want to make sure your jar is really clean and I'm just going to put everything right in here. This is super simple. I have just squeezed a half a lemon right here into this cup and I'm going to add it into my jar. And then I'm going to use, this is a pour over little coffee thing and I just put a filter in it. I'm going to put that right on top of my jar and we're going to pour this right through the filter so it's just going to take out all the needles and any debris or anything like that it's just going to go right through there and you'll see it dripping down through it doesn't take too long a little bit of time we're just going to keep pouring until we get it all in there And this way we're getting all the goodness from our pine needles. And I throw these in the bowl for the chickens after because there's still, still a little bit of goodness in there. And we can put these pine needles right in here and squeeze it just to make sure we get all of it out. Because, you know, I don't like to waste it. I want all of it in there. And we'll just pour that last teeny bit. And then I just take the filter and just squeeze. And get that last little bit of goodness out. Okay, and then I am going to add a half cup of raw honey. I've just got some honey here. And we're going to put that right in. We want to pour it right in there. And this is going to give you a nice big amount this is going to last which is good and this will last in your refrigerator for two to three weeks and if you don't use it all in that time and you want it to last a little longer you can freeze it in cubes or in a baggie or whatever and then take it out of the freezer as you need it and you can definitely do that we just want to get all that honey in there. We don't waste any. And we're just going to mix this all together. It's not very warm, so it takes a little bit of mixing. But we have a beautiful syrup here. Try to stir until I get all that honey off of the spoon. You can see it's still on there. Okay, once you have that all clean, there's mm, no more honey. Oh, you can taste that pine needles. I put the cover on and I'm going to give it a good shake. And you can pop this, you can use it right now, it's ready. I take two tablespoons at a time for a sore throat. You can take it every hour if you need to. Um, it helps tame that cough really well. And I just give it a good shake 
every time I'm going to use it. And I keep this in the refrigerator for up to two to three weeks. And again, if you want to keep it longer, you could just freeze it, throw it in like an ice cube tray and take out a little bit at a time or put it in a baggie or a container, however you want to do it. You could freeze it and thaw it when you need it. Again, this is great to have. It's really inexpensive. It's all natural. You can get the pine needles over and over and over. It's definitely self-sustaining and a great self-reliance skill that you can have. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.